Hey guys, it's Adam Garcia with Shortstop Studios. So today we're actually going over how to replace the ribbon cable for the video transmitter from the Phantom 2 to the GoPro. Recently, Dennis and I had gone out to Zion National Park and before we got there, we stopped to have some fun shots. Unfortunately, All right, so we just wrecked into Dennis's car and uh, everything's still good, so we're gonna give it another try. Surprisingly, that's not what broke the ribbon cable. It was simply after that, I got in the car and unplugged it to charge the GoPro and it snapped. So I've never actually replaced the cable myself, but I was able to look it up and find it on Amazon for just about 10 bucks. Uh, I went ahead and ordered it and I just received it, so we're gonna go over how to replace the ribbon cable. Let's head on over to my workbench and uh, see if we can get this fixed. So what you will receive from Amazon is a mini USB connector, the ribbon cable, and an H3 3D sticker. So the first thing I did is take off the blades from my Phantom 2. Once those were removed, I was able to turn the Phantom 2 upside down to have better access to the gimbal. On the back of the gimbal, there's an H3 3D sticker. Go ahead and remove that sticker. Once inside, you can see where the ribbon cable is running to, and there's a black lever right where it's connected. Go ahead and flip up that black lever and pull the cable out. Uh, tweezers might be helpful in this situation. Now that the ribbon cable is removed, you're ready to put in the new parts. This is where it might get a little tricky. You want to be able to snugly get the ribbon cable in its connecting points without squeezing it too tightly with your fingers, bending it, breaking it, or snapping it with the tweezers. Go ahead and slide it in, and as far as it will go, stop there, and then you're ready to continue. Okay, next you're going to grab the mini USB connector. That also has one of the black levers that you're going to need to pop up. Now you're ready to connect the mini USB connector to the ribbon cable. Now just like the other point on the ribbon cable, you're sliding it in till it stops. It will stick out a little bit, so don't let that be misleading. Now before we go ahead and use the adhesive on the ribbon cable, we're going to make sure that the connections work and then that way we can go ahead and apply the stickers later. Go ahead and pop a battery into your Phantom 2 if you don't already have one so that you can power on the transmitter as well. And voila, we have transmission. So we know the connections are good, so we're ready to go ahead and put the stickers and adhesive on. You'll find a white piece of adhesive stuck to the ribbon cable. Go ahead and pull that off and stick it to the back of the HD 3D gimbal. And then you're ready to apply the H3 3D gimbal sticker to the back of the gimbal. And voila, there you go. Your ribbon cable has been replaced, you have video transmission, and you're ready to fly. And now you're ready to go shoot some shit.